Hello folks, the Colorado Whiskey Guy here, here to impart a little bit more knowledge to you. And what are casks and why do barrels matter? So stay tuned and you'll find out right now. All right, hello. So casks and barrels, is there a difference? The answer is no. The quick answer is casks are barrels. It's just another name for barrels and that's where all the magic happens with whiskey is in the barrel. Bourbon is not bourbon until it's aged in a barrel. Uh, most whiskey is not whiskey until it's aged in a barrel. Now that's where all the magic happens. Aging changes everything and the bit could because the barrel imparts flavor too. The whiskey mixes with the barrel as the temperature changes as it heats up it goes the wood fibers open up and it moves into the barrel and then as it cools down it comes out of the barrel now it's just a little bit it's like uh like smoke when you're barbecuing it goes so much into the barrel and as it comes out it brings a little bit of those wood sugars with it and it changes the flavor as it ages now there are different types of wood that are used too that changes the flavor and it changes everything. Uh, in the US primarily we use American white oak. That is the majority of what's used just because with bourbon it has to be aged in virgin American white oak. Now in uh, overseas it'd be the European oak. There's a lot of places here that use European oak. Even find Mizanara, uh, which is a type of wood in Asia and Japanese whiskeys use that. And there's a lot of uh, distilleries here in the US that import that and use that as well. And it's not just the type of wood either. And contrary to what you've been told, in this case, size does mean everything. There are barrel sizes all the way from little baby barrels of uh, five gallons, all the way up to a hundred gallon big port barrels. Now, 53 gallons is the typical, that's a typical bourbon barrel, that's a typical barrel here, used here in the States for aging whiskey. Um, in bourbon and in a lot of American whiskeys, it's going to be virgin oak. It's going to be brand new, brand new barrel. And what they're going to do is they're going to char it on the inside. Actually, they may toast it and char it. Toasting is when they actually they don't burn the inside, they just heat it up to get some of those wood sugars to go up from the wood to the surface of the wood. And then they char it, so that way those sugars will be charred up on the inside of the barrel. Barrel standpoint, it helps the whiskey stay inside the barrel, it helps the wood expand, and that's kind of how they do that. But in this case, that is how bourbon is done. And that is how a lot of American whiskeys are done. Now is scotch and uh, some single malts uh, use uh, used oak, which means it's been used once before in this, in most of the time with bourbon, although sometimes with sherry. That brings to another point, finishing. You'll find on different bottles, finished in. And what that means is it was started maybe in American oak, and then it was finished in a different kind of barrel, whether it be in a sherry barrel or port or different specific kinds like Pedro Jimenez, different types of barrels where it was finished in. And what that means is they just moved that liquid from the new barrels or the barrels that it was aging the most in into these other barrels to add a little bit extra flavor. So that's what the barrel does. Cask strength means exactly what it sounds like. It's the strength of alcohol as it came out of the barrel. That's it. The interesting part is what that proof will be based on where it was aged. Because in some climates that gets to be a higher alcohol content. So you'll find some cask strength uh, whiskeys are in the 60% alcohol and you know 62 and maybe a touch higher and then some are just in the mid 50s 55 percent alcohol and what have you now remember proof is just the al alcohol by volume times two you know 100 proof that's 50 percent alcohol now most whiskey most uh, mainline whiskey you'll find will be 40 46 percent abv uh you know 48 percent abv 50 percent 
ABV. And what they did is they took what it was coming out of the barrel and they proofed it down. They had a process where they added extra water to bring that proof down to what they wanted and where they sent it out and bottled it and to the general public. So you'll find if it's cask strength, it'll say on there, that's what it came out of the barrel. The actual proof, no cask strength, well, they proofed it down and that's what they wanted it at. So usually with cask strength, you might, you'll usually even see the, the barrel uh, number the, and the warehouse it came from and where it came from, the batch, all these things may be listed on there they'll have more details listed and usually it'll be a little bit higher price point. But the reason cask strength is a thing is because flavors are different from barrel to barrel slightly. Bigger manufacturers will blend barrels together uh, to be uh, one homogenous whiskey, the same standards that they send out every time. That's why when you bottle, buy a bottle of whiskey and then you wait two years and you buy the same bottle, it's going to taste the same because that's what they wanted. They wanted to keep that taste and they'll select barrels based on taste to achieve that. So that's why barrels and casks are important because that is where the magic happens. That's where the juice comes out. So now you know, maybe you know a little bit more. And if you like this, I want you to write cask in the contents and let me know. Did you like this? Hit, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and I will see you on the next one for the next review. Cheers.